All right, Shalom, Makim, Shalom, Salakia, man. I got phone storage problems, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, you know, hopefully through the spirit and power, y'all watch some y'all so I can get that fixed soon. But um, where I was going was Micah 4 and 9 through 10. And I had just kind of like left off on explaining uh, the word for uh, tribulation. In Acts 14 and 22. So like I was saying. Um, the elect are ready to give birth man. Like a woman in. You know what I'm saying. Like a woman that's uh, pregnant. You know. I'm going to let the scripture speak for me though. This is Michael 4 and 9. Now why dost thou cry out aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counsel perished? For pains have taken thee as a woman in travail. You know, so the scriptures compare the elect to a pregnant woman, man, that's, that's ready to give birth, that's having birth pains. The scriptures say, okay, Isaiah 4 and 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in tra travail. So the scriptures tell you to be in pain, man. You know, it says, for now shalt thou go forth out of the city and thou shalt dwell in the field and thou shalt go even to Babylon, there thou shalt there shalt thou be delivered. There, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. And we in Babylon right now. We in the field right now, man. You know. Um, I got another scripture I wanted to bring up. I'm gonna get a uh, uh, second Ezra seven and uh, I'm gonna start from verse two. And like I might skip around a little bit, Akim, but you know, like I say, man, bear with me. Because the point is, we have to go through pain to get to the kingdom. But it's like I'm like the point of the lesson, it's a value to going through what we're going through. You know. So uh Okay, this is second Ezra seven and uh, I'm going to start at verse two. And he said unto me up Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, speak on my God, my power. Then said he unto me, the sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great. But, but, but put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it. If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? So if you're not going to go through the suffering, how are you going to get the, the the pleasures and the joys that's, that's, that, that comes with going into the kingdom of heaven, man? It says, um, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and it's full of all good things. That's the kingdom of heaven. It says, the entrance thereof is narrow and it's set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there where fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, which that man represents the elect as a whole, that, that city, that the kingdom of heaven is given unto the elect and the one third for an inheritance. It says, and I said, um, it says, okay, it says, if he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Which brings me to my point. You know, if you're not gonna go through the pain, how are you going, how are you going to receive the value of going through it? Like, like, like the whole point is this a value to going through the going through the straits, the tribulations that comes with being in this truth, man. You know, um, Let's see, uh, I want to get, uh, John 16 and 21. Well, actually, I'm going to get Acts 14 and 22 first. So, uh, bear with me, I can't bother my shot.
Okay, it says this this is Acts 14 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So we gotta go through pain to get to the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? But it's like continuing on my point. It's a value to that pain. You know. Um I want to get St. John 16 and 21. And I think that's all I got. I can mama probably end it off with that. You know, Jack tend to get long-winded, but I'm trying to get better at just proving my point and just, you know, trying to make the lesson as edifying as, as I can in, in, in a short amount of time. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, comprehending much with little speech. <laughs> Well, uh, roughly paraphrasing that, I can. This is St. John 16 and 21. And it says, A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for, death, for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice in your joy. No man take it from you. You know. You know, Yahweh Shai is going to, we going to see Yahweh Shai again, man. You know what I'm saying? We just got to have faith. And uh, like the scriptures say, like Yahweh Shai said, man, um, you know, we going to go through it like a woman that's giving birth. But after we get through going through it, we're not going to remember no more that pain. It's a value to the pain because after the pain comes joy. Like they got this saying in the world, you know, uh, hey man, it, it got to rain for the sun to shine, man. We got to go through it to get to it. You know, you can't go uh, over and under. You got to go through it to get to it. We can't go over and under to get to the kingdom, man. Scriptures tell you that if any man take it another way, that man the same as a thief and a robber. You know, so we got to go through the, through the straits, we got to suffer, man. But like the scriptures say, we doing it for a reason. We suffering for the elect's sake. Like Apostle Paul said, I suffer all things for the elect's sake. You know, um, I believe that's all I have, Akin. Uh, You know, that's it. You know, I'm going to close this lesson out. Hopefully this was edifying, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors again to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who do teach and rule well in these scriptures. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, to you brothers that's pushing this word on the highways and the byways in truth and sincerity, to you I say Shalom. Until next time.